you know, some things money miss can't operate the same way. You know, I got to step up to the plate and be that leader that I need to be being an older player with experience, you know what I mean? Time now for another edition of Browns working from home. And this time, this was the people's choice, the people's champion. They said, we need to hear from Money Mitch. We got to see our guy. And Money Mitch, let me tell you, it is great to see you. How are you doing, man? I'm doing real good, you know, back home in California, just relaxing, trying to maximize all my time here with my family and to just keeping my mind clear. I hear you, man. Listen, it's crazy times. I'm glad you mentioned maximizing your time with your family. That's what a lot of us are doing right now because we're, you know, pretty much stuck indoors with the people that we're, that we're with. And that's in many cases, it is family. And I know this has been a wild time. Just want to say, I hope you and your family are doing well, everybody safe and healthy uh, during what has been, you know, really a, a crazy time in our lives. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, we're trying to make it work to the best ability for sure. Absolutely. So you're out there in Cali. The weather is good, Money Mitch. What have you been up to, man, since since we last got a chance to talk to you at the end of the season? Obviously, the world's gone crazy, but how the heck are you doing? What you been up to? Oh, man. Well, in January, I had my daughter. Um, she was born January 6th. Congratulations. Thank you. So just spending time with her and just um, going to school a little bit and and trying to um, further my degree and and take care of my business on the field, working out and stuff. That's all I've been on. So let's talk about, let's obviously major life event here. You have a daughter and that changes everything, right? Daddy's little girl, nothing like it in the world. Right. Yeah, no, that's a lovely thing, man. You know, that just, that's my reasoning for everything, you know, so it's, it's been a, it's been a, a, a eye-opening experience for me, but you know, the way it's changed me has made me more aware and things like that. No doubt. By the way, how's money Mitch with changing diapers? Oh uh, man, you know, I'm pretty good. It's like putting <laughs> glove on. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I hear you, man. I hear you. So you mentioned there, you just slid it in as well. Another big deal. I think going, you're trying to further your degree, University of Oregon. Uh, what's, what's the process there? What are you going through and what are you, what are you trying to accomplish there? Well, um, so I'm trying to knock out a few classes, um, I have a few classes remaining. So I'm just, you know, just taking care of my business there, trying to just further my education and, Man, just get that piece of paper and make my mom proud. It's a big deal, right? I mean, it, yeah. it's a big deal. That's awesome. Money Mitch, you are a renaissance man. We all know this. So a very worldly man, broadening your horizons, now a father. It, it's a beautiful thing to see. And, and let me just turn it right now a little bit towards football. What's it been like? New coach, new defensive coordinator, new DB coach for you this year. I'm sure you've got a chance to talk with all of them. You guys are into this virtual offseason. Let's just start with the head coach, Kevin Stefanski. Uh, your impressions of your new head coach? Oh, uh, You know, he's a cool dude. He seems like a real fair dude and, you know, just explains everything, what he, how he expects things to happen. And, um, I mean, what more can you ask when things are cut and dry and you understand what you got to do and how you're supposed to operate? And he's also cool at that, so that's a that's a winning formula, I believe. I so I think we all believe it. We all certainly hope so, Money Mitch. Let's talk about your defense coordinator, Joe Woods, because this is a guy. His career, he's rooted with defensive backs, and everywhere he's yeah. been, defensive backs go to the Pro Bowl. Defensive backs are making plays. Uh, what's your impression of Joe Woods and what you're going to be able to do in his defense? Well, I mean, you know, like you said, with him being coming from a, a DB background, you know, I think that's always some cool where, you know, he really understands cornerback. So that that always comes to account when things when you make decisions and stuff like that. But, you know, um, shoot, just everything that is his philosophy and everything that he's been putting in. I mean, I enjoy it. And like you say, he didn't coach a lot of great players. So, you know, there's got to be some type of formula there, too, that. You know, some some he has some kind of good formula where he can make something work, and I believe in what he's teaching right now. And I just I'm I'm ready to go. You know. Well, they say it's a defense for playmakers, and and I can't help but notice every time you're on the field, you make plays. You get in there for a, a, just a bit against the Steelers this year. Boom, interception, money, Mitch. It's like we expect. So I can't wait to see you flying around there in this defense, making plays. Ain't wait either. Yeah, man, it's going to be it's going to be fun. And, you know, last year, look, we all know it didn't go the way that we wanted to. But when you take a step back now and you've seen the moves that have been made in free agency, you see the moves that have been made in the draft. Uh, how are you feeling about this this squad and how eager are you to get back on the field with these guys and see what you got? 
Well, you know, no discredit to the um situation of last year, but I do feel like there's like a different type of structure set in place right now where, you know, we have a possibly a better chance of succeeding. So, you know, I'm excited because we already have all the good talent. Now, you know, we have some different people in position calling plays and doing things like that where, you know, it's only going to be make us better, you know. Absolutely. Now, I know that you are a, a star in your meeting room in terms of your personality. Everybody likes hanging out with money. Mitch, how's that for you in virtual meetings? Are you still able to, are you still bringing it on the Zooms like you are right now? Oh, uh, man, you know, I'm just myself, you know, Zoom, <laughs> Zoom, no Zoom, man. You know, I'm going to still say something funny, possibly, you know, and just try to be that guy that, you know, can, can put things together, you know what I mean? Just try to be a good teammate, good person. And, you know, so far it's been cool. I enjoy the new teammates. I enjoy the teammates from last year and the culture. So we all just vibing out right now. What's it like in that DB room? You and Andrew Sandejo are veterans on like a whole nother level compared to everybody else in there. I know Kevin Johnson comes into the room as well, but it's a pretty young group. Man, I mean, you know, that's just right there in itself is, is crazy just because now me going into my seventh year, it's like, man, I remember being that young dude. So now I'm the old dude. And, you know, some things money miss can't operate the same way. You know, I got to step up to the plate and be that leader that I need to be being an older player with experience. You know what I mean? So however way I can help and just try to give some knowledge, I can. But it's also you can still also learn from the young guys, too, because I didn't learn from a lot of the young guys. But experience is key, though. There's no doubt about it. When you think about it, you said you're entering your seventh year. How fast has it gone by that here you are entering your seventh year and you're now a father? I mean, when you think about just all that's happened here in the last six years or so, pretty wild, Money Mitch. Man, and hey, unfortunately, you know, with the with the time where it's at right now, it's the time where I can sit back and, and evaluate all that and just be grateful. Like, dang, you know, this time just allows you to sit back and just respect and acknowledge all the things in the past you've been through and, and understand that you're still standing and you're still here, you know? Absolutely. And we're happy you're still here. We can't wait for you to be able to get back in Berea and hang out with us in the studio instead of know, you and your house in, in my home state and me out here. Hey, I'm missing that checkers rallies, man. We ain't got nothing like that out here. <laughs> this is your I got to ask you about this room that you're in because I see Batman, I see Darth Vader, and then all of a sudden in the corner now, I'm seeing, is this like an ultimate Nerf hoop? What do we got going on over uh, here? No, I just, man, I've been building stuff for my daughter. You know, this is a little hoop court, you know, like sometimes <laughs> I want to get some shots up too. You know, I still have hoop dreams, you know, and shoot, I, that's just where I play my video games at. Got all that in my TV over here. So I just be chilling up in here. It's nice and blue and it's just real chill. I thought it might be green for Oregon. No, a little, a little blue. Uh, yeah, no, nah, a couple of different places in the room in the house had different colors, you know. So, uh huh, this is the real mellow blue room. I call it all the right. blue room. The blue room is the mellow room. You mentioned your games. What games you've been into, Money Mitch? Um, sure. I play pretty much everything, man, from uh, Madden, 2K, the Grand Theft Auto. Uh, Call of Duty, everything, you know. But shoot, sometimes I'm not as I'm not able to play as much, you know, with with the with the new one. But it's all yeah. good. Though. That's right. It's you're trading a, a video game for a little a little love, daddy's little girl. I mean, that's yeah. the best. My my first child was also my daughter, and there's nothing like it, man. Nothing. She's yeah. and believe me, you think your six years went by fast, seven years in the league. My daughter just turned 12, went by like this. So cherish, wow. cherish it, Money Mitch. Cherish man, it. Man, I will. I will. I know you will, man. I know you will. It's great catching up with you. Anything you want to say to our fans, you know, during this time or just to give them a shout out, let them know what's going on with Money Mitch? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I, what I'll say to our faithful Cleveland Brown fans is stay strong. You know, we're going to be back in a minute. And, you know, the season, we got big expectations and, you know, thank you for the support. We got the new unis. So we come in new fresh, new coach, new unis, and it's going to be a good year. So just stay patient and everything's going to be fine. There, I love it. The power of positivity straight from the man himself, the philosopher, Money Mitch. Dude, great catching up with you. Congrats on the birth of your daughter. Congrats on pursuing your degree. Awesome stuff. And we can't wait to see you back here putting on those new unis, getting back with the squad, making plays out on the field. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.